Hello dear friends and welcome to Winners Edge. This short video is about transcription for UPHE SC Address Number 51, English Literature Only. Uh, this is in connection with the previous quiz and worksheet that we had. And you may have seen in the result analysis that it was not very encouraging. So I decided uh, that it would be correct if I help you a little bit with transcription only focused on UPHSC paper. For all the analysis, why do we need it? And um, IPH art and all kinds of things, you can access the material uploaded on the channel. So let's take the easy ones first to begin with. Here, always a slash to begin and a slash to end the transcription. So let's take pin, for example, our word pin. Okay, so pin. There are sounds in pin. We will not read it as P I N in transcription. We need the sounds. So the sounds in pin are the P sound, the E sound, and the N sound. Not the P sound, the I sound, and the N sound. No, no, no. The exact sounds are P. And E and N. Now, phonetically, they are represented as P sound, the vowel single, pure vowel monotong, the E sound, and the N sound. Now, I totally believe, want to, that you have been learning the IPA chart and the 24 consonants and uh, 12 plus 8, 20 vowels are totally clear to you. If they are not, please, you know, revise today and by tomorrow, be prepared with vowels. Because if you're not prepared tomorrow, then you will not be able to take our next worksheet or quiz. And thus begins a vicious cycle of not taking and staying weak. But, you know, we cannot allow that, right? I'm helping you in this, you will help yourself in this, and your transcription will definitely become better. Um, and therefore, you will get those, those questions that are linked with or are directly upon transcription. So, pin, this is the transcription. The next one, yeah, let's take tin. Okay, so tin. Now, before I tell you that, of course, we'll begin with the slash. Before I tell you the, the exact sound uh, and count them for you, why don't you do that? I'll, I'll pause for, for five seconds. So the first sound that you got was T, right. The second sound that you got was the vowel sound, E, absolutely. And the third sound was N. So now we will write a T sound and we'll write the E sound. Of course, we write the no sound and then we will not forget this slash so tin pin tin uh, let's change the the medial vowel now so um pan how about that so now new word is although it's written p a n pan but since we are doing the sound system so we'll only count the sounds, not the consonants, although consonants and vowels, although the case is uh, equal, there is equivalence between the numbers, but still we'll call, count only the sounds. So pan, pa, a, na, pa, a, na, three sounds. Begins with the per sound. Then you got the diagraph, a sound. Uh, please practice writing this uh, well. Uh, a sound, this is a sound. And then you got the old friend of ours, the n sound. And of course, we'll close the thing with this. Remember, uh, if there is there are not these two slashes to indicate the sounds, then people may think that you're writing it wrong and it doesn't remain transcription anymore. So remember these slashes. Now, Let's take some more words. Um, for example, big, no, that is E sound. Seat, let's take seat. And uh, 
yeah for comparison let's take sit also so you've got sit here and its old friend seat here now we are keeping the consonant sounds same but changing the vowel sound so sit is sir e enter set is sir a enter and seat is i forgot one a here and that's why it became set and seat is s e a t which is in sounds c t so we've got sit sir e enter set sir a enter seat sir e enter uh here you can see there are three sounds but four letters and then why not sat also yeah we are at it so one sat okay so we'll play on these to begin with then the slash then the s sound then our old friend the e sound and then again our old friend the t sound and don't sorry and do not forget to close it sat s is our old friend by now then there is this diagraph the a sound and then you will take a t sound ah it became a little bit longer than it should have been then you got set s a n t so our old friend s sound and the a so it's not e it looks uh, like uh, the letter e but it has been pronounced a a sound and then the t sound and finally you got seat so the uh, sorry this one so the slash then the s sound and this one is the full e sound we'll put a colon at the end because colon shows you that it's a long vowel i repeat this colon shows that it is a long vowel and then our old friend the t sound so you got c t e r i say let's practice a couple of diphthongs now and um, finish it off that will be all for today so you will take these and you will freeze this train and practice you will note them down and practice and then you you will get some more words and practice so that you know you improve day after day after day let's take some different so for example very easy to begin with this a i and r so three letters in total but then in our pain in british pronunciation not in indian or american pronunciation uh, we only have a uh, as one sound and only two symbols i repeat a yeah, although three letters it's only one sound and only uh, if you count them two symbols they are counted as one so one sound only diphthong a yeah. let's take another fear okay p uh, and then you see this the the r sound which in in connected speech will come the r sound will not be is not allowed in rp so when ra re ri ru etc that is r is not followed by a vowel sound then i repeat when r is not followed by a vowel sound uh, in connected speech then and when r is the terminal r in case of single standing words then also r sound is given no value it is not pronounced so now we have got f e a r and my dear friends you totally know that r is a terminal r therefore it will not be pronounced and i will not even write the optional thing i'll simply write the first sound because it is fear and then e a uh, e fear this is one sound a diphthong fear okay now we'll do a bit tricky one we have been doing this always as boy b o y boy but these guys the rp guys they do it as boy i repeat the rp guys they do it as boy like they do o i l as oi so then we will write it as our old friend b of course which is there and then you have got the o and 
sounds the whole different thing together to get you boy okay so we've got air ear oi let's say uh, one more so s h and o and w this is show so the sh sound and the o sound the show thing the whole thing this is show okay uh this is all for today you may you may have remarked that the number of consonants was limited today but i focused upon the vowels so maybe uh, tomorrow or next day uh, i will also focus on consonants but the whole idea the complete idea is that you will become good in transcription i will try my best you give me your best together we'll produce your best so stay tuned to this channel a lot of more good material i, I mean oh, sorry why 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 should i call my material good yeah i mean for, from there i remember please don't forget to like if you like it of course i'm not recommending it if you have not liked it but then if you have liked it please do put a like there that encourages me there's a like option so please like it if you did like it and of course if you subscribe it then uh, whenever i put in material here which i will do with more and more frequency now because we are reaching towards the exam uh do subscribe so that you know you know the moment i upload some material any material at present for a couple of days i'm going to focus upon linguistics because this is a very problematic area that to transcription and phonetics uh, after which i will expand and uh, you know give you material on everything else so that's all for today signing off thank you this is ranish mishra and you are watching winners edge a channel for upgsc that is in 51 english literature only thank you